Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie, and we have a busy, 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 busy day today. <laughs> uh, actually, I was pretty busy for a few hours last night anyways. Uh, I did get my storage already this morning and uh, picked up a couple of boxes that are going out. We'll talk about that in a minute. I've got box resizers and makeup orders packed over here. Uh, I did that last night, too. Burn a little midnight oil. Yes, we already looked at this, but I've done 20, 20, 20 so far. I'm going to put a 20 number up today, too. It's going to be by the hardest, though. Um, quick update on this thing is I got it open. I put a little thing up on uh, Instagram, and one of the guys said, let's see, it's four, seven, four and a half. It, duh, it opens just like old master locks do, right? So four then i pass the second number once and then i stop the second time and then i go straight to the last number which is four and a half right there uh there and then it opens beep and look there's the old the old mechanism in there it's pretty cool huh i think that thing is really really neat i like that and the box is like a it's a really cool little box inside the only thing inside i knew there was something in there I was hoping it was like some cash, but no, inside were the instructions. <laughs> Authentic post office door coin banks. So I'll be able to list that later after I, uh, you know, it locks as soon as you, as, as uh, I'll be able to list this later as soon as I get all my stuff pulled, packed, and out of here. But uh, yeah, busy day today, y'all. Um, first thing. Um, go ahead and this is the first thing on my list here uh, sold this lot of 133 teeny beanie babies uh, these are the McDonald's uh, happy meal giveaways I guess $65 plus shipping on top for this the other big box that I have going out that I pulled from my storage um, this is I called it a J JD which is junk drawer lot just because it had a bunch of different stuff in it McDonald's toys, Beanie Babies, uh, some some kind of Bammers that are baseball things or something. Just a mixed lot, so I called it a junk drawer lot. And uh, just kind of threw everything that I kind of had left into the box and auctioned it. And I got $31 plus shipping on top. This is going out to Jeff and Tiana, his girlfriend Tiana. So thank y'all very much for watching and thanks for buying the box. I hope y'all enjoy. Okay, Chris bought, got to go to my smalls drawer here. Got a lot of stuff in here. Chris bought this little guy here, Bagley Small Fry Deep Diver. I guess, yeah, I guess it's kind of a vintage lure thing. Sold this for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much, Chris. Appreciate it. Jim bought Yankees Program and Scorecard number or letter f okay so i've got several of these from 1947 b e it's gonna be this one right here f and i'm i'm pretty sure jim is a viewer judging on his last name i've seen it a bunch in the comments so thanks a bunch jim hope you enjoy the yankees program these are these are pretty cool. I would get it just for the ads. Another schedule, or not schedule, yeah, no, schedule, no, program, duh. Uh, for Michael, he bought the Boston, should be under here. No, it's New York Giants. Where's the Braves? He bought the Boston Braves, which I didn't even know it was ever called the Braves. But I found out that it was the Boston Braves, and then later on, okay, where the hell is it? Here it is, all right. And later on, they became Milwaukee Braves, and then finally, they moved to Atlanta. So, uh, Michael's getting this for his dad for Christmas, who's been a Braves fan his whole life. So thank you very much, Michael. Hope your dad enjoys. You know, sometimes you list stuff, and you don't think it's ever, you're like, well, I say you. Sometimes I list stuff, I'm like, there's no way I'll ever sell this. And then somehow it sells. Well, I had 
four of these Jennings, Kansas belt buckles, which I've never even heard of Jennings, Kansas in my life. It's a centennial belt buckle for that town. And I'd already sold two of them before. And today I've sold number three. And then later on in this video, I'm going to sell number four. So you never know. eBay is the place for that kind of stuff, right? Right. Timothy bought a Mighty Max Horror head from me. It's this one right here. It is Mighty Max Defeats Vamp Biter. New on card right here. Uh, this sold for how much? How much is sold for? $34.99 plus shipping on top. So thank you very much, Timothy. Appreciate you watching. I hope you like the figure. Other program is getting uh, is going out to Patrick, who is also getting uh, this for his dad for Christmas. <laughs> A Yankees 47 program. Popular gift here. Um, he's also on YouTube as PKW Picks. PKW Picks. Uh, so I'll have to check that out too. Let's see. I watch a little YouTube. <laughs> not a mu not much. I don't watch as much. To be honest, I don't watch as much. Uh, was it B? I think it must have been. I don't watch as much YouTube content or reselling content as I used to. Got a little, I don't know, when you make it every day, it kind of gets burnt out. Uh, but I do watch a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is B. So thank you very much, Patrick. Hope your dad loves the gift. Okay, we have another program going out. Um, G. So this is New York Giants. G. All these teams were in different places back then. Uh, they're in San Francisco now, of course. All right. I think I've sold through all the programs except for one. Which, that's pretty good because I had... I think I had six or seven, no, probably seven, I believe. I think it's seven. About to knock something down. I've got stuff everywhere right now. <sighs> I'm gonna have to take a break. Not today. It ain't gonna happen today. I'm gonna have to take a break at some point and uh, do a little cleanup. All right. So yeah, what did I get for that one? I got uh, $29.99 plus shipping on top for this one. Or free shipping, one or two. Michael bought two things. He bought Clue complete for Sega Genesis for $14.99. And then all the way at the bottom of this pile uh, is a chess set. I'm going to come back. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to grab that and we'll be right back to look at that. All right. I got it down. So this is a Wood in Things classic chess set. It's new. It's new in there. The, uh, the chess board is still sealed up. It's nice. It's a nice little set. I remember when I bought it, I was like, man, this is a... Uh... Yeah, the little baggie's still sealed, too. It's it's really nice for what it is. Like, I mean, it's not an expensive set or anything, but it's all... Everything in here is wood, which is nice. So, the chess is making a big, big comeback right now, y'all, because of that... Uh... Queen's Gambit show on Netflix, which is excellent if you haven't seen it. I already talked about that before. I'm not going to go into that. But uh, anyway, thanks again, Michael. Really appreciate the business. Uh, hope you like your stuff. And yes, I'm combining shipping and refunding uh, any kind of overpay. Some people don't think you should do that, but I do. Next up, uh, these I pulled these out of the Smalls drawer just now. These are a bunch of trade token coins or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Uh, from Fort Polk NCO Open Mess. Different denominations. A bunch of them in there. And I had a penny in the photo for scale. And I said, penny is included. <laughs> so the penny is shipping out too. These are going to a local guy named Chris. Local reseller named Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, hope you like the coins. Hey, hell, I hope you can resell them. Make some money. Who knows? Back to the smalls drawer again. Which... I love selling smalls. I do. I like selling all kind of stuff, but the small stuff is good. Uh, I had three of these Apollo 11 coins, and they're not, like, extremely valuable. I haven't seen any others that are like this in this little case, like this one is. 
on this little stand it says apollo 11 i did find a couple of loose uh that were selling for around nine ten bucks or so so anyway i'm keeping one um my friend ryan over at thrift mine he's big time into the space program space exploration uh spacex etc and i sent him one as a gift and then this one i sold to michael who uh he says he has a nasa challenge coin collection but don't have this one so awesome uh hope you enjoy i think you will though this is a really cool little piece sold a little puzzle back to the smallest drawer I'm gonna empty this thing out sold this little roadrunner puzzle from 1979 just a little slide puzzle uh 9.99 plus shipping on top back to small's drawer again i listed this little uh catholic pendant it's sterling i am a catholic please call a priest and then it's stamp sterling so sold this for 14.99 no wrong 16.99 plus shipping on top this is going out to dylan dylan thank you very much or smalls uh got a i've only got two cars left from my big hot wheels deal from a few months ago where i spent what i spent thirty six hundred dollars on that i've sold all the carded hot wheels i only have exactly one left now i think I think that one might be kind of high value but anyway i sold this little loose uh neo classics 32 ford for uh 24.99 plus shipping on top it's going simple export rate to hang on i'll tell y'all where's it going where's it going it is going to pg i don't even know what pg is I don't know where this is. Uh, 06053. I don't know where that is. Okay, next we have two RLC shelf right here. Okay, there we go. Two uh, Rugrats movie compass slash watches uh, created exclusively for Mott's. So, yeah, they're, they're brand new in the box like that. Uh, these are going out to Bobby. Um, who is the cap guy on YouTube right here. And uh, actually two nights ago, I was out here working and I saw he was live. So I went and uh, went and hung out in uh, Bobby's live chat for a couple hours the other night. It was fun. It was a fun little show. So thanks a bunch, Bobby. And best of luck with your YouTube channel. Okay, Thomas bought a video game, Final Fantasy Anthology okay listed several of these final fantasy games the other day make sure i don't have okay here's the anthology yeah that's the only anthology i have right here all right this sold for 9.99 plus shipping on top i think there's a bunch of even like are they still making this game because i saw a ton of brand new sealed ones so it's keeping the price of this one down, I guess. Any event, thank you very much, Thomas. Hope you enjoy the game. Uh, actually, you said you're getting it for a gift, so hope they enjoy the game. Okay, this one's pretty nice. Uh, sold this for $14.99 plus shipping on top. And I don't know how many I've sold of this now. Let me see if I can look at the listing and figure it out. Okay, I've sold 22 of these now. So, five dollar buy on the whole stack, and um, yeah, about three hundred and thirty dollars in sales so far. And I still have sixty eight available. So, uh, it might take five years, <laughs> but they're moving. Jesse bought four games from me. He bought nine. I'm knocking crap off. Knock the chair over. I do need to take a day to clean up in here. Or at least a few hours. He bought... Let me see if I can remember this. He bought Origins. Wait, I have two Origins. Which one is it? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, man. I'll bring them both over there and figure it out. Um, anyway, he bought... Chrono Cross. I know that for sure. He bought... Nine. 
he bought Mega Man 8, and he bought one of these Origins. I just need to figure out which one is pictured. I can't believe I didn't like make make them different somehow. Usually if I have two of the same thing, I will. Uh, and yes, I am combining shipping on these for sure, Jesse. Thank you very much. I'll figure out the right Origins to send you. But you have these four games on the way. Lots of viewer sales today. Thank you all very much. Um, Andy bought this gold copy of Legends of Zelda for original NES. Thank you very much, Andy. Hope you enjoy. I remember a little while ago when I told y'all that I sold the other one. Well, here it is. Uh, $14.99 again, plus shipping on top. Sold a Wizard of Oz um, Scarecrow Mego. I thought it was interesting, though. Uh, the buyer, not a viewer that I know of, anyways. But the buyer... No, this is the last box one I had. I may have more now. I don't know. But the, the funny thing is, the buyer's name... Guess what her name is. Well, of course. The buyer's name is Dorothy. <laughs> now I think I'm pulling my last program that I listed. I don't think I have any more left. I think I sold all of them. Yeah, this one right here. This one, uh, I listed it cheaper because it was in poor condition, especially being that the scoring portion of it had been taken out. And you can see the pages are all separated and stuff. So sold it pretty good bit cheaper. But yeah, I was happy with the way this uh, programs went. Sold a sander that came in that big lot down here to unbury it but I initially thought okay it's new but it says it right here too uh, it's factory reconditioned so it's new ish <laughs> anyways and I got what 65 bucks for it did pretty good on it uh, for, well, I think anyway, yeah, $64.99 plus shipping on top. And um, it's also etched into the side of the plastic, uh, like R E C O N D or something like that. Um, so, yeah, still happy with that sale. Sold pretty quick. Okay, next up, uh, the buyer of all those calendars from the other day came back in and offered me $55 on this 2012 Patriots calendar. I think. Uh, I think all of them or most of these most of these pages have signatures for each one of the models so or cheerleaders or whatever so uh yeah that was a good one almost done with the calendars just have a few left i got my um got my part from digikey for the apple so i don't know when i'm going to be doing that <laughs> but uh hopefully i'll be using a fully functioning Apple IIe computer soon ish got other stuff to do though right now uh, well I'm coming over here to pull something oh the magic cards this box right here and I priced these at $90 plus shipping or free shipping I can't remember can't remember which uh yeah 90 what did I do? Might have done free ship here. I can't remember. Let's see. No, $90 free ship. $89.99 free ship on these. Uh, there's other sellers selling these sealed for uh, $100 free ship. So I did mine since mine was open box. I did mine $90 free shipping. All right, Colby over at... I got it. I can't remember the name right now. Okay, let's see. Did he get? Is this what he bought? This? I think it is. Rube Goldberg game. Uh, make the acrobat fly. It's like a mouse trap type game, I believe. Um, Colby over at Little Rock Flips um, bought this from me. So thank you very much, Colby. Appreciate it, and hope you enjoy. I sold um, a lot of. Three Star Wars Galactic plushies supposed to be in the box. 
and I don't know if it's actually gonna they're actually gonna be in here or not because yeah I don't think they are I think I moved them where did I put them though did I move them I don't know what oh wait there's something in here that's plush three star this says three sw that's probably it i'm gonna open it up and take a look uh i got this at a garage sale i'll probably have a couple of bucks into these guys uh had it for a pretty good while now sold another mighty max fig um out of here lava beast this guy right here uh sold for 29.99 plus shipping on top and i'm knocking stuff over as i walk through uh, yep it's a mess in here I'm, i need to get all this stuff consolidated and cleaned up and i will just not right this second so i think they're here yeah here they are jeff um messaged me on ebay the other day yesterday i think specifically uh, i had all these mego wizard of oz mego figs listed separately um there's six of them there and then I have the actual Wizard of Oz right here, complete in here. And um, he asked how much for all seven. We ended up making a deal, $125 for all seven. Uh, and like I said, they, they are all complete. They all have their shoes. They all have their accessories. And they're all in really nice condition, too. Um, so thank you very much, Jeff, and I hope you and your wife enjoy. Appreciate y'all watching too. All right, sold some X Files cards to read. They are they're over here, um, all the way at the bottom. I did not plan this out very well, did I? Putting I should have put the bigger stuff in the back, but I didn't list the bigger stuff first. So, eh, whatever. Just take me a minute. I don't want to damage anything. Yeah. Here we go. Got them. I got to put all that stuff back. Uh, but anyways, X-Files Series 1 cards uh, sealed. These are from 95. So thank you very much, Reed. Hope you enjoy. Appreciate the business. Sarah ordered MU, let's say, MU13 moisturizing hand treatment. 2.3 ounce. MU13 moisturizing hand treatment. I think 13 is right here. Here we go. Er. Moisturizing hand treatment. Intensive moisturizing hand treatment, 2.3 ounces, one of these. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, Sarah bought that for some amount of money. Makeup's on sale. I think I'm up to like 17% off or something like that now. So what, what did I get? 14.10 plus shipping on, uh, no, 14.10 free ship. Thank you very much, Sarah. Hope you enjoy. All right, I'm in my other store now, um, my other account now. I have other stuff that sold on the first account, but I gotta, I gotta get a move on. <laughs> I've only got about 30 more minutes where I can pack. Uh, Hasbro Transformers Evolution Camaro on Molly Shelf. This is one that's been listed for a while. Molly Shelf, I haven't been to that shelf in a while. Okay, ah, must be right here. Yeah, this is it. Oh, guess, oh, I have some, uh, Hot Wheels right there still from a previous buy. Okay, so this sold for, what did this sell for? $23.99 plus shipping on top. Okay, Joshua bought a cave woman comic. Ooh, yep, there's some naked cave women. <laughs> Y'all can't see those unless you buy one. Just kidding. Actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna show it on the channel. This one's not, uh, Oh, this is not Cave Woman. This is uh, this is good wholesome fairy tales, grim fairy tales. Uh, Joshua bought this one uh, for it's on sale. 
$11.99 plus shipping on top. So thank you very much, Joshua. Appreciate the business. Last thing I'm pulling before I go uh, to the post office. It's not, I'm not done though today yet. Um, I pulled number 46 here, Batman Automobilia car. Then number 55 right here. And then there's another one here. This is a like a bat, what's it called? This one's actually new in the package. Batwoman bike or something like that. Um, so those sold for, two of them sold for 15 a piece and then this one sold for $25. And uh, I, don't, I don't, they didn't say they're a viewer, but they might be. So if you are, Mark, thank you very much. I'm gonna combine your shipping. Okay, I'm back. Man, it's crazy out there. All the uh, <laughs> all the recreational shippers are out and about. So be careful out there, guys. You know, all the people walking up with their thing and they don't have a label or anything. I want to ship this to my granddaughter. They're out there. Uh, but yeah, it, it's going to take a little longer than usual to ship. I'm trying to be patient, though. Um, I have one more order that I'm going to pull today. I'm going to go ahead and pack it, print the label and everything. Drop it off in the morn morning. Uh, for Benjamin. Benjamin got... Why do I have a game right here? Benjamin bought this guy. I actually bought this at a yard sale last year. It's been a little while now. I probably had it priced a little bit too high. But it's, a, it's heavy. <laughs> it's a lamp base that looks like a knight chess piece and it's really cool i love it it's very heavy um I, i'd say lamp base whatever i mean it's got like a screw thing right here who knows what could have been on top but some other people have told me ashtrays and things like that it's definitely got some age to it and it's definitely heavy and it's really cool so thank you very much benjamin benjamin also got two things from my other store from the smalls he bought these two compacts by Stratton, made in England. One of them has still has powder in it, <laughs> and the other one doesn't, but they're both in nice condition. Uh, and like I said, there we go, you can kind of see it there. Stratton, made in, is it Stratton? Yeah, Stratton, made in England. So, some cool stuff there, Benjamin. Thank you very much. Like I said, I'm gonna pack it up now and i'm gonna drop it off tomorrow morning okay i'm on the road to 20 listings now it's uh after five o'clock <laughs> and i have 20 listings i got to get up today and i will i will get 20 listings up i don't care how late i have to stay up i'm gonna get it done and benjamin your uh your big ugly box <laughs> it's in the truck it's going to uh it's going to ups in the am so thanks again uh First thing I'm going to do, I have a ton of mini figs. Look how many mini figs are in here. It's ridiculous. And most of them are complete. So I guess I'll use base plate to help stand them up. I'll just have to make sure I say the base plate not included, I guess. Um, and y'all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand them all up on these base plates and I'm going to auction them off starting at a penny. Oh, man, it's going to take me a few minutes to uh, get them all out and organized and stuff. But, yeah, look, they're mostly complete. A lot of times when I find minifigs, uh, it's just a bare minifig or random parts and stuff like that. But this guy, like this guy, for instance, he's got his shield, he's got his sword, he's got his cool hat. You know, he's ready to go. And a lot of them are like that, too. So, let me get to work. Okay, I want to talk about this... Um, this Lego listing a little more. I, I took all my photos. I even took a short video with my phone, less than two minute video, and I'm building the listing up right now. So that's funny, building the listing. So first thing, the key photo is all the Legos. I use an app, there's many apps that can do this. I use an app called Layout and I've just stitched three pictures together. So I can easily show all 71 lego on the 
first picture and then I go into greater detail. Now there's so many here that I wanted to, this might be a little overkill, it probably is, uh, but on my eBay demo vids channel, I did huge Lego minifig lot and I go in detail on each and every one of them, front and back, so they can see exactly what they're getting. Okay, so then after I've done that, uploaded that to YouTube, um, oh, well first I wanna grab the URL right here. So I'm just gonna copy. I'm doing a, uh, a command C over here right now. And then I go to flippertools.com. I scroll down to YouTube, eBay listing, blah, blah, blah. I do a command V for paste. I hit okay. It shows my thumbnail. Then I just click on copy and that will put all of this code on my clipboard. I come back over here to eBay. Mm -hmm. And I go down to description, click on HTML, hit enter a few times, get some clear space. I hit uh, command V again for paste and it puts the code in. I go to standard and it shows the little thumbnail thing. Now this, this is not actually, uh, even though like when you mouse over it, it looks like it's an active little video player in there. It's not, all it is is a hyperlink in photo format. Whenever you click on that, uh, when you're viewing the listing, it's gonna open that video in a new tab in the, the browser. So it is an approved link via eBay's link policies. People ask that a lot. Uh, it, it is allowed to put links to uh, YouTube videos as long as you know they pertain to the thing you're selling. Um, so yeah, this listing's ready to go. Fired off, starting at a penny, wish me luck. Now, I guess the question is, what am I going to do with the rest of this stuff? Because this is far... Oh, man, there's another minifig in there. And a hat. Damn. You know what? Let me see. I'll just throw in a bonus minifig. They won't even know it. Um, this is not a complete set. Because it doesn't have the vehicles and stuff. It's supposed to have a boat monster truck four-wheeler three-wheeler it doesn't have that stuff in it so i guess i just lay it out and show them what it does come with i don't think it's going to be worth a ton of money though i certainly don't feel like parting stuff like this out i got my i got two i'm going to try and run one or two auctions every day i think they're fun uh so i, I got the bank I'll list in an auction now and those mini figs. I think the rest of the stuff I'll list tonight is going to be uh, just regular old buy it now. This game I think has a little bit of value. The box is not in great condition. Looks like some silver fish got to it at some point or something. Uh, but I think it's complete so I need to inventory it. It's got the rules. I haven't looked at the board yet. Okay. Yeah, the board looks fine. Typically, it's 1981. Typically, boards aren't in bad shape. Um, then I just got to hope. Sometimes the manual will have contents. Yeah, game board, four playing pieces. Okay, four. Um, 45 cards and a spinner. So this one's easy for me to... Uh, Inventory all I have to do now is count the cards and make sure they're there. Yes, 45 cards all here So boy, there ain't much to this game is there. <laughs> I like I like inventory in this kind of game uh, So yeah, I'll get this guy listed Much much later and I think I've done three listings Because I haven't been out here for about the past. Uh, I don't know what Time is it? I haven't been out here for about the past six hours. So, um, came back out to finish up. It's 11 o'clock. And I've got a bunch more listings to go. I'm going to cheat. In a good way, though. I'm actually going to do extra, but not really. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, these are 
those superhero cards, uh, Marvel, Don Russ Marvel cards. I listed a complete set the other day of 66 of them. And these are the uh, duplicates that I have. I have two of this card, two of card four, uh, three of card five, and so on. Look, three of this card, two of that card. So I've got 70, I think 70 of those. I have some other series too. But I've actually got more cards, more replacement type cards or duplicates than I do then they come in the set. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little label on each one of these, little circle uh, thing, and I'm take them out, take the cards out, take a picture, front and back, one, one picture of each card front and back, and I'm going to do a duplicate, not a duplicate, a variation listing for replacement cards and um, charge $15 shipped a piece and then give people uh, breaks on the price the more they order. So I'm gonna try that out. It's worth it. Um, I have 70 cards, 70 times 15 is 1050. So um, I could make just as much money on these as I do on the complete set. Um, if they all sell if if they sell they may not uh, but it's worth trying so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna count that as 70 and I'm gonna do them all tonight okay got my listings done um, and the way I did them was like I named the sheets a B C etc and there's nine positions on each sheet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is card position A1, A2, A3, uh, E2, E3, etc. And uh, yeah, I just took two pictures of each card and listed them. Now, I intended to do a variation listing, but unfortunately, I couldn't do a variation listing in that category, I guess. So uh, I ended up doing 60, it was 67, 67 individual listings. <laughs> but they were really fast. Like all I had to change in each one, I changed the, um, you can see the last one I did was H4, which was right here. So all I had to change on each listing was the letter and number designation saying what the location was and then i had to look at that location and see what card number i was working with so in this case it was 65 so i just put in 65 there and then i had to pull uh the correct photo uh, i did take 67 photos and airdropped them over to the computer so it was uh maybe two hours of work to get 67 listings up so, uh, oh, let me go update my board. All right, so I went above and beyond today, but I'm still going to, I'm not going to let that stop me from getting, 1055 was the number. I'm not going to let that stop me from, uh, like, just because I got 70 today doesn't mean I can slack off future days. Future days, I still have to get minimum 20. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It was it wasn't an easy day today. It's a late night. It was a hard day packing. Well, I wasn't digging ditches, <laughs> but still, it was a pretty good bit of work. And uh, yeah, I've got pretty full day ahead of me tomorrow already. I'm looking at my main store. Whew. It's gonna be a busy couple of weeks, y'all. I'm looking at my main store. And I've got 23 orders awaiting shipment right now. <laughs> oh boy, and I know I've got a bunch of box resizers going out too. So, but that's okay. Next few weeks are going to be, um, next few weeks are going to be a little aggressive. And then it'll kind of cool down a little bit. So, 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all again soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.